Alright, what is up guys? Uh, Arrow here. Today we're playing the Prehistoric Kingdom newly released demo. Um, if you guys don't know what Prehistoric Kingdom is, it's a successor to what JPOG was, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Basically combined with Zoo Tycoon 2. It's, yeah, it's essentially Zoo Tycoon 2, but right now strictly for dinosaurs. Um, it's been in production for easily two years now, and... Uh, I guess they just restarted uh, working on it again, and they just pushed out this demo, and I haven't played it yet, so let's see how it goes. Uh, just new game. <clears throat> Obviously, we're going to go with dank memes. And, yep. So you can't choose any of the, any of the uh, different modes yet, because it's just the demo. So everything's as functional as it should be right now. But this is clearly not an ind indication of what the future game is. So, it's a pretty nice little animation. It's a T-Rex, obviously. But, yeah. So, <clears throat> game's about to load. Uh, I tried playing it once earlier. Didn't really help. I'm still confused. But, uh, yep. So, I'm going to start it over here by the water because apparently your little you need to build the hatchery obviously and right there will work so it, it's pretty cool it's like uh what is it any of the building games ever have those weird cool little scaffolding things when they come up or when they're building i think that's kind of pretty cool but so it says it needs out of resources so it needs in this case electricity and i think you go here and you get a windmill throw that right there and then it needs water you get this little i don't know where to put it nor do i know how to turn it but that's okay and with that everything is pretty good so working properly and let's go through all this first so right now there's only three or four different dinosaurs you can choose from from uh, Archosauria because dinosaurs. <clears throat> so the different clouds, the subclouds you can choose from are Silurosauria, which includes the uh, Gallimimus, the T Rex, and the Velociraptor. And then the Marginus, of, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's the Triceratops. Um, what's cool so far? What, what was cool about this game originally? A cool draw, was it? It, a cool draw it had, sorry, was that it has the feathered and scaly options. So it had a feathered option for the Tyrannosaurus as this Blackbeard skin, Ginger, and Highlands. While it also has a scaly variant and, and the male and female versions, which we should look at the other ones. Blackbeard, Ginger, and Highlands. So... Right out of the gate, they're already starting with uh, gender variation, which is pretty cool. So I guess we're going to go with feathered because everybody hates to see scaly dinosaurs now, but that's okay. Um, I guess, here, let's build a fence. Stone. Oh, let's do this. That's a big windmill in here, so I mean, hopefully the dinosaurs don't mind that. Alright, so let's get one T-Rex. There's the male, and there's the female. Yep. So, do they just sit in here, or what are they doing? Single instance. I don't know what this means. Oh, what? This is where all the bread is. Start by clicking on. Oh, cool. You can put them places. You can put them both here. Awesome. All right. So now we have T Rexes in their cute little environment. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh. Well. Models look pretty good. Pause it with space button. 
Um, it does look kind of contrasted to the surrounding green. Uh, looks the edges look kind of rough, but it's still early development. So let's try to put a triceratops in. There's the different triceratopses, and they have different skins. And I think we're gonna go with crimson frill because that looks pretty cool. So, melon, ah, oh jeez. Oops. Let's see if they interact. They do not seem to mind having a Triceratops in here. Wait, that's Melanistic. Oh, so. Notice how the Crimson Frill is supposed to be like that, but this is the Melanistic version. It already has variation. There's no color on that. So, that's the blacked out version, is really what it is. So let's make another one and see if this one has face. Yep. So, oh, Jesus. It has genetic variation. There's different skins, and there are, from what I remember reading on the forums, there's albino as well. Um, all different variations, which is pretty cool, considering it's so early in the game. But. You notice that the T-Rexes do not seem to want to fight them, but that's okay. Let's see if they'll go for a Gallimimus. Only come in feathered, and then male and female. Let's see what the skins. Go back to male. Sandhill, Silver Spalding. That looks pretty cool. It kind of looks like a skunk though. And Bristle Neck. I think we're gonna go with the Silver Spalding. And oh, cool. Five of them. Oh. Here's our male T-Rex. He's kind of just chilling here. Yeah, they don't seem to mind the Triceratops. It's, it's okay. We'll work on the AI later. So you can select all of them and place selected. Neat. So now we got some Gallimimus. And these Gallimimus are Almost the same size as the T-Rex. They're all yelling. Uh, anyway, sorry about the uh, microphone quality. They're just my Astro A50s. Um, they're not specifically for talking, I guess. They're for gaming. So that's why it cuts out and all that. But I don't know. Maybe I'll get a better microphone someday if I continue doing this talking thing. But, uh, <clears throat> anyway, those are the Gallimimus. The only thing we're missing right now would be the Velociraptor. Sand Peregrine. Oh, wait. Hindu. Male, female. Oh, they look the same. Sand Peregrine. Red Baron. They look the same. And Ashen Brindle. They also look the same. So, I personally enjoy this. I like five of these and we're just gonna stick them all in this pen and see if they kill each other it is really what it boils down to because that's every dinosaur game ever and that was really quick so let's place all of them yeah see a few little things and they don't seem to pack but that's okay oh let's also zoom out real quick so let's see if we can fix that Alright, so there's nothing I can do to fix the, I don't know, loading of that. Oh, jeez. So here's our big female Tyrannosaurus. She's 16 years old. Uh, so it's like, this is all stuff from like every animal game ever. It shows you what it's doing, uh, the gender, all of its vital signs, and age, of course. Um can you do with this? You can sell it, I assume. Can't move it. But I don't know what that is. I don't really want to test it out. But that's enough with the dinosaurs. Well, we got all the dinosaurs, right? Yeah. Alright. Oops. That was glitchy. So now we got these dinosaurs. Look at the other things. It's got fences and different variation of fences. We got wood, obviously, stone, and then metal fences. Probably should have built metal fences, but here's one of the metal fences. Here, let's just go through all of them. One of the 
wood fences. And another one of the wood fences. That looks really cool. The same wood fence with windows. And a lower wood fence. Um, there's the fences. There's those fences. There's also all the stone fences. So it's like brick. Brick with a window. The one we already used. That one with a window. Darker brick. And then dark brick with a window. So that's pretty cool. And then obviously metal right there. So that was fences. Um, so for ha the buildings, habitation, the, this is our little hatchery, is what it was called in other Jurassic Park, or other dinosaur games, but I'm just gonna assume it's that, because it's what it was called before. Feeding, oh, forgot to feed the dinosaurs. Um, let's put, where are the T-Rexes? These dudes are just chilling over here. So let's put meat over here. Large wooden feeder. All right. Okay, well, we'll put this right here. I don't know if it has food in it. But... Kinda looks like it. Looks like hay. T-Rexes do not seem to be hungry. Um, and then... Water trough? Throw that in there. And then... What is this? Oh. Small wooden feeder. That's for little herbivores. So I guess we can put that there. Rexes are having fun over there. And then the last thing, there are shelters. So, large wooden shelter. There are animals there. there are animals there. Animals there. There are animals everywhere. Not sure how to turn it. That's okay. We'll figure it out. Anyway. Here's our large wooden shelter. Oh, it's got to build it. Um, we'll build this one. It's a little trunk shelter. Probably for velociraptors because they're so small. And a big rock cave. This probably fits T-Rexes. So whenever these things are... Oh, here's the... Uh... Oh, it's facing the wrong way. Nice. Anyway, um, there's the wooden shelter. And we're just waiting on the rock cave. There it is. This reminds me of a cave from Zoo Tycoon 1. Dinosaur digs. <clears throat> is this Triceratops going to go in it? Wandering. Sound pretty cool. Oh, she's gonna walk through it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so. Here are some hints, obviously. They've been on the screen the whole time. Probably not good. Building help. Uh, terraforming. Another thing I forgot to mention. Is that this demo comes with fully functioning, fully functioning, in air quotes, functioning for now, uh, terraforming, the brush size, brush type, size, intensity, and then uh, raise, lower. You can change. Oh jeez, what type of brush you want? Give it a square. Just lower. And level, level with this ground. Really laggy, and then smooth. So it makes everything smooth. Clearly, um, some of the tools that aren't available are the water right now in the biomes, and trees. You can paint it with the trees. That's cool. But you can't yet. You can delete vegetation though. So that's the terraforming part. Get that off. All right. So back to the building part. Or back to the building tab. <clears throat> Another sub tab, I guess. Uh, paths. We're just gonna drag some paths along. Some sand path. Kinda covered by the dirt, which I guess that's okay. Yep, there's both paths there. Uh, there you go. You can see it better there. Uh, there's stone paths. Paths. There's cool little cobblestone, also cobblestone, and then real stone. That's a Jurassic Park operation. Genesis path, definitely. And then scenery. Got your little trash can. Scenery. 
Or oh, that's a light, not a trash can. This is a... Yeah, Let's see what this is. That's a lamp. Oh, they're both lamps, okay. A little lamp right there, and then a street lamp. And that's all you can put there, so. Get this message from this dude. Let's I see what this guy's gonna say. Alexander Winstone. Delighted to make your acquaintance. Now I expect this park to be operational. Okay, he's talking really quiet. But I am your new employer, Alexander Winstone. No idea to make your acquaintance. So that's just for oh, aha. That's just for campaigns and all that. So that's delete. Oh, it doesn't do that. Hints button. Let's see if these dinosaurs are eating anything. Doesn't quite look like they're eating anything. Medium meat container. The Yalmimas seem to come over here though. Are they omnivores? Oh. Yeah, so for right now, I guess all the dinosaurs are coexisting. Yep. Yalmimas chilling inside our stone cave. Stupidly large windmill. It's right in the middle of their enclosure. What can you do about it now? <sighs> well, yep. All the fences. So, really, it's a pretty good functioning demo for right now. It's bare bones, obviously, because there's nothing out yet, but for what it is, it's pretty good. I think we went through everything that is possible. Here, we'll throw the T-Rex in, in scaly fashion, because this is my favorite skin. So, let's just make one. And bring you with me. Let me click, there we go. This is my favorite T-Rex skin in this game. Even if it's scaly, it's still pretty nice. And it has lips, which, I don't know, kind of looks weird, but... I think it's pretty good skin. Um... Yeah, well... That just about does it for this, uh... Demo. Kind of a... Brief overview of what it is. Nice. The T Rex and the Gallimimus are sitting in the same shelter. That's cute. Yeah, but anyway, that was the Prehistoric Kingdom demo. Yeah, you can't do anything else here. Thank memes. Nice. That was the Prehistoric Kingdom demo. Um, I don't know. See you later. Ah, uh, yes, as it happens, I forgot to do something during that video because. Slipped my mind. Apparently I just didn't see it, or looked right over it, but the transportation tablet in under utilities where you've got this stupidly large windmill and the hydro generation. Transportation. You can build a jeep system. Um, I don't know which way it's facing though, because oh, it's going this way. You can build a jeep system. Like in Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, you can make jeeps, jeep tours. I am assuming this is going to be the same thing, whether it be jeep tours or for maintenance, but you can drive the jeeps. What is going on? I crashed the jeep. There we go. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Work the delete button on all. Will let me? Nope. Rush, rush. Holy crap. Rush size is Titanic. Delete there. Selective. Oh. Okay. I guess we'll have to delete that whole wall. So I can demolish. 
So, let's drive this little jeep into the enclosure. Oh, yeah, they don't seem to mind. He doesn't seem to mind. Notice it has the Prehistoric Kingdom logo on it. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, these, let's see if... Ah, these dinosaurs are robust. I'm sure the Triceratops definitely armed. He, we didn't even hit him. This is a scale. Oh, slow down. Okay, well, it's not stopping, but just a scale of how big a Triceratops really was. There's a Jeep Wrangler. And this dinosaur is about three, four feet taller. So, Triceratops was a gigantic herbivore. And hopefully, when the game's out, you can hit animals. Not implying that I would hit them intentionally, but kind of like that. In Jurassic Park, Operation Genesis, you could hit them, cause damage. That was always fun, because then your passengers would get stranded out in the middle of the enclosures. That was cool, too. But, yeah. I have high hopes for this game, because uh, Zoo Tycoon 2 and Jurassic Park, Operation Genesis were the two best park builders I've ever played in my life. So, just hope that this game can live up to this, or even Mesozoica. Both of them would be great. So, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. And, yeah, so, this now the video is officially over. Thanks for watching. Um, yep, this was the Prehistoric Kingdom demo.